That's what YG get. This video is brought to you by The Office Tatum Store. The Office Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Let's get into this. YG. That's what you get. That's what you get. You do the crime. You get caught up. And you do the time. Now, he didn't go through the court process yet. So he hadn't been convicted. But he has been arrested. They had a search warrant. That's And I'm going to speak to all of you lames out there. Because I know what people are saying. I've seen it on the internet. Well, YG, you know, they trying to frame him. You know what I'm saying? They, they, he got the Grammys on Sunday, and he's supposed to be commemorating uh, Nipsey Hussle, and they just trying to catch him up. Listen, let me, let me help you real quick. You don't get a search warrant out of thin air. You don't just randomly wake up one day and say, we want YG today. Let's get a search warrant. You, it's a whole process to that. Let me give you a few facts. YG's SUV was involved in a homicide. His car, registered in his name, was involved in a homicide. The murder of a 65-year-old man who ain't had nothing to do with nothing. He already have a criminal record. YG is a known gangbanger. He talk about it, he rap about it, he say he about that life. His house was raided before. And a person was arrested in his house for gun charges. So happened YG wasn't there. So this is not something that is made up and created out of thin air. Let me talk to you guys about the process of a search warrant. Because I'm a former police officer and I know how this works. They don't just run up in your house, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not. A search warrant. First of all, police aren't going to waste their time with you. If you ain't done nothing. You know why they don't waste their time with you? Because you ain't done nothing? Because there's a whole slew of people who are committing crimes on a day-to-day -day basis a slew and so they don't have time to waste messing with you for no reason you investigate a crime as a police officer you have information probable cause to arrest a person that means that a reasonable person will believe that that person committed a crime and then the way you get the warrant is that you got to present an affidavit means you have to write down your probable cause statement and convince a judge that you have enough to arrest the person and then you have to articulate why you're going to use the amount of force that you're going to use yg when he was arrested they had the swat team out there i saw the pictures of it and all you have to articulate to a judge why you're going to do those things on the affidavit of service you have to identify what exactly are you investigating and you also have to identify each element each investigatory processes that you're going to use where you're going to go in the house what you're going to take what you're looking for all of that information have to be presented executed and then returned to a judge you can't just it's, it's you just wake up one day and do it so yg is clearly been a part of an investigation yg is clearly admitted to being a gangbanger for those of you who don't know who Nipsey Hussle is, who he's supposed to be going to the funeral or he's supposed to be presenting at the Grammys and speaking on behalf of, Nipsey Hussle was a gangbanger. Nipsey Hussle was a gangbanger. Rolling 60s in California. On his rap music, he talked about killing people. And unfortunately, the person who took his life was a, another person, a part of his gang. Both of those individuals, Nipsey and the person who took his life, claim to be shooters. So, I mean, it's, it's, clear, it's clear that in the hood, a shooter is a person who, when they go to a scene or they do something, that's the person who pulled the trigger. Nipsey was a shooter. You live by the gun, you die by the gun, unfortunately. One thing about Nipsey, the reason why he's more popular than some of these other lame rappers, is that he was actually attempting to change his life and do the right thing, at least publicly, is what it looked like. He had uh, information learning centers for young kids in the hood. He had a business in the hood. He hired people uh, that were convicted felons trying to give people a second chance. And he lived. He, I mean, he stayed in the hood. I don't know if he, he probably had a house somewhere beautiful. But he, he was in the hood often around the people. And that's what ended up getting him knocked off. But I, I just felt like I had to just walk y'all through this. Because I get sick and tired of folks with the same pigmentation as mine. Supporting the wrong people. Learn processes before you start to judge. YG is admitted to being a gangbanger and a criminal. So why are you surprised that he's getting caught up in criminal activity? 
And of course he's going to come out and say, I didn't know nothing about it. I wasn't there. I don't know what's going on. It's your car, bro. You don't know who's using your car? You don't know somebody done done a lick in your car? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. I grew up in and around the hood my whole life. I wasn't born yesterday. I know what it is. I know how people operate. I know how gangbangers operate. I know how drug dealers operate. And you're going to tell me somebody like YG got somebody doing something in his personal vehicle and he don't know what's going on. Give me a break. And if he did, you know he can't snitch, right? Okay. That's what I thought. So anyway, for all of y'all watching, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole YG thing. Some of y'all don't even know who YG is. You can look him up. He was a dude saying F Donald Trump, F Donald Trump in one of his songs. That's not why I made this video. I made the video because the fool got arrested and, and everybody coming out in his defense as if he's a saint. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Make sure y'all visit the Officer Tatum store where you get all the cool merch. Make sure you sign up for our rewards program. I love you guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.